Hi, this is Tyler Hudgens with Hudgens Homes, and we are back uh, trying to complete the foundation. It is actually sleeting and snowing at this point, but I really wanted to make a point for you today looking at the brick steps we're building, what it takes to get it done. You can see the volume of material that has to be put in for steps. There you go. Quite the amazing process, but a lot of product to build brick steps. You can see the footing how we're working the brick up, the masons doing their job. Well, we're really under pressure to get this uh, foundation done before the weather turns on us again. I have the fellas bringing in plastic once again because we're having bad weather. They are gonna cover the inside of the foundation so we can get the backfield done another day, uh, maybe in a couple of days. Based on the amount of rain we're having, if we don't cover the site again with plastic, it can delay the job for two weeks, so we're taking an extra step. Looking at the inside of the foundation being completed, I'd like to show you how we do the wall All right, I would like to show you why we do the 24 inch footing. As you can see to the right of the foundation wall, we have footing. And then to the left of the foundation wall, we have footing. So we use a 24 inch footing so we catch the entire wall. When we use a brick and block foundation, it's 10 inches wide. That exceeds codes in many places, but that's what we do so you have a 10 inch plate for your house to sit on. So a 24 inch footing with projection on each side to catch the 10 inch wall that we use to set the house on. Here is the pier support system for the center of the house and I, would, I want to point out this this feature we do a continuous pour footing let's put together see the footing right here instead of taking the pier and just building it on a poured you know spot in the ground we do the continuous footing all the way down the pier line all the way down to the pier line which is tied together with steel so that means wherever you have a high pressure point in the house whether it be in the middle or on the far left doesn't matter where you have the high pressure the high weight it's spread throughout the entire foundation. And that is just what you need to do if you want to do it right. All right, here you go. We're inside the foundation, looking at the inside of the foundation walls, and I would like to point out this, this quality point. Look at how we finish our walls. We even go to the inside of our foundation walls, we clean up the inside, and we do a nice, even fill of the block. Now, if you look at a lot of uh, foundations that are done, and you go ahead and look at the inside walls, it is choppy, it is mud thrown everywhere, but this is a nice, clean finish. So we take a little bit of pride in doing the inside, you know, maybe just as good as the outside. I will have to say that I think the work we do with our brick laying is amazing. Really great, great quality, great finish. Look at the workmanship on this brick wall. I'd like you to see the strike that we use. Very clean finish. Mortar is not thrown everywhere on the bricks. So you don't have to uh, tell you. Looks really okay, good. Okay, here is the strapping that is utilized. The strapping is uh, cemented into the blocks and your foundation plate will go over top and then the straps will be nailed down to the foundation plate. And the foundation plate is what the house is attached to. So many people ask questions. How is my house secured to the foundation? Well, this is where it starts. And this is how it works through here. Of course, you got your foundation vents mortared in place. And you see the straps running all the way down. Every 32 inches. Or less. Depending on the 32 inches is code. Okay, so this is Tyler Hudgens with Hudgens Homes, and that is kind of a, a fairly brief look at the foundation work. Uh, we're working in almost freezing weather, so probably a little shorter presentation than I normally do. But it looks like we're going to finish up today, unless it just starts pouring down rain. And the plan is to backfill the foundation in a day or two, put the plate on in a day or two, and we will be setting the house on the foundation. Uh, in about three to four days from now. And that's it for now. We will talk again.